Hello everyone, this is Press here, and today I'm going to be doing a commentary over a solo gameplay I had on Fortnite just recently. Now, as many of you already know by now, I love Fortnite. I have been grinding it so much recently. Now, I have been playing a lot of the squads game mode, and I especially have a really good team for that. That's a lot of these dominated members, and we even went on a 10-game winning streak. But I find solo a lot more fun and just more challenging, and you just gotta, it's just a lot more difficult and it's a whole different game playing solo and I just enjoy it so much. So on to the actual gameplay itself. I'm going to be dropping off at the Wailing Woods. I like going over here. It's also called God Tree and there's a bunch of houses names that we specifically made ourselves. But this is generally just called the Wailing Woods God Tree area. Now these, as you can see north in front of me, those are called the new houses that were just added in on an update just recently. But since I see a lot of action and a lot of people going there, I'm not going to go there and I'm going to find a new place to go. So over here on the east, as you can see, there's an... On the hill right there at 105, you're going to see an ice cream truck. And these houses are called the ice cream truck houses. Now, I do like going and looting those, but over here is called the scarecrow. And there can be a chest that spawns a scarecrow some of the times, and it was here. And I get lucky but unlucky at the same time here. Now, I get a potion and a sniper, and a potion's really good. Obviously, one of the best things you can have in a game to win. And a sniper is more of a, more of a mid and end game weapon. It's not really a beginning game, because look, I have no pistol, I have no AR. I, I have nothing to fight these people, and I already see them dropping here. Now, I see at least one guy. I just think it's one. Then on my peripheral, I see a guy on my left. I get a nice snipe on this guy. And the pistol in this game is actually really good, even the common variants are really good, so I decided to challenge this guy, and you'll see the, the gunfights are a little bit inconsistent, like the accuracy and stuff, like you can be right on the target and it still won't hit. Right there, I'm shooting right at him and I only get one hit. Stay back down though, and I'm just going to wait for them to peek again. And once I get them, and that was that. So they, they had a green pistol, it's a little bit better, they had an AR, and even a, just a common AR is amazing. And right there, that shot, that, that happens if you get a potion or a healing, it's just a glitch of the game. Each bandage gives you 15 health. And you can only go to 75 with bandages, you can't go past that. Right now I have decent weapons, I'm just going to loot these houses now that it seems like no one's in the area. I always shut my doors behind me, so it's kind of like a cue, you know, like if you shut the door and someone has to go in there, you'll, you'll hear it. You'll know someone's in your house. Medkits can get you to 100 health, so it's definitely worth it. Now at the time, there's actually another thing on the roof, just right above me, right above me, there is another, like, lesser known, not many people know about it, but you break a wall down and there can be a weapon up there. Not many people know about that at all, it's kind of a hidden, hidden wall where things can be. And it's not a chest, it's just weapons. Only just found out about that recently. Now, potions, like I said... They're really important, but they might even be the most important aspect of winning a game, I think. Like, potions are just, you have to have them. They really are the difference between winning and losing gunfights. So, like, it's just it's basically like, like an overshield from Halo, like, more health. Always check under the stairs, too. There's usually ammo crates, and those are huge. I, I don't have time to shut doors. Those are looted. Like, I, I gotta just... I have a pretty far away waypoint to go to so I just I gotta hurry and loot the chest yeah that's that's just really far away those aren't gonna be there every time it's all random there could be one there could be zero just getting snipers the whole game now nades are really important though like a lot of people like don't realize how overpowered nades are just in so many scenarios that people are like building bases if people are reviving on squads and stuff like that you gotta you gotta get those grenades if you don't have a grenade launcher or an RPG obviously 
right now I'm, l I'm lacking a shotgun. Like, you basically want an AR, a shotgun, a sniper, and then explosives. That's usually what I have, and then one healing thing. Like, those are the four weapons I have. Shotgun for close range, sniper so you can scout the area, AR for your mid-range mid -range engagements, and rockets for just anything, like destroying bases. Someone comes up close to you, you can get them. They're just good for a lot of scenarios. Since I don't have much time, I just gotta run. Like, usually I'd get that brick right there, because brick is like the most important thing in winning a game too, other than like an overshield, is if you have a lot of brick, like we're, we're talking 500 plus, you can just, you can do anything you want basically. And in this area, this is where a lot of brick is. Right over this hill at 210, just you look over the hill and just brick is everywhere. I just don't have enough time for him. Right now, I'd say... We're decently, like, this is a very decent run. I don't have a SCAR, I don't have an RPG, don't have, you know, rockets. Don't even have a shotgun. My AR is only a common. But it, it's a very decent run. The overshield, the snipers. It doesn't matter what variant of the sniper, I think. Like, it's like, the damage difference is, it's, I don't know, it doesn't matter. But with the ARs, going from a common to a blue, like, I think the blue AR is just... Absolutely amazing. 35 damage. That's a three shot kill if they have 100 health. So another potion up here. That's just lucky. That's just, and I decided to just keep running. I'd say we're even doing well ammo wise. Ammo wise, 81 bullets. That's, that's doing pretty well for AR so far. That's three or four fights. Now, I thought I saw the most underrated gun in the game, and that is that blue semi-automatic pistol. Now, that thing, if I ever see that thing anywhere, I always get it no matter what. I usually replace any shotgun with it because that blue semi-automatic pistol does 25 damage a bullet. So that's a 4-shot kill if they have 100 health, a 3-shot if they have 75 and it has 50 impact against material and items like that. So like walls, brick, wood, steel, like just, that's insane. 50 impact, like a scar is like 48. But 50 impact for the pistol, that's one of the just lesser known facts about that weapon. That's why I really like it. It can destroy bases really easily. And you can just spam it, it has a really fast reload time and really good close quarters weapon. But I come right out of the shields, which a lot of people usually watch the shields and guy was just not prepared, just was busy looting. I get all the goods over here, I see him. Smart of me to hurry and use the OS before I go over there, usually you want to build around you, but on solo, I don't... When I heal and stuff on solo, I don't really build around me like I do on squads. On solo, I more just... I do it kind of in the open, just so people don't know where I am. I even had to reload the scar too. That's why you want a scar. Those scars are just insanely good. 37 damage a shot. Crazy. The gold one does 39 a shot, which can two shot 75 health people. Really glad I had those over shields though. It lost no health from them. Or that gunfight. So I even have a blue shotgun now. It's looking pretty good right now. I got nades, got healing, got my sniper, got my scar. It's just looking really good right now. This this looks, and I even have 327 brick. So it's looking like a W for me right now. I, I can feel it. Like the beginning, I hit those two snipe kills. I just knew it was I had to win the game. It's looking really good. So right now I'm deciding to go south so I can just get right near the right near the border of it. 
I also want this brick too. And it's obvious crouch running is obviously you want to do that often so people don't hear you. A lot of my play style though on solo is to like you should see how aggressive I am on squads. I am so aggressive on squads. Like I just push up with my team and I just you know, I, I just put shots down, knock people down, do a lot of damage, and I'm just really aggressive because I know I have that backup on squads. But on solo, I'm just a much more passive. My my play style is completely different on solo. Like I, I play really passive. I just sit I basically sit on the outside. I never build anything other than like defense. Like when someone's shooting at me, that's when I hurry and build stuff around me. Unless, I guess, uh, if I have an RPG, then I kind of build around me, because it, the RPG is the best weapon in the game. That's over an overshield and brick and all that RPG, that's it. That's the best thing to win a game is an RPG. But that's that's very hard to get, and that's why I don't say it's too essential, because it's just so hard to get. You can't count on it. I'm just scouting the area. Like, a lot of this is just, for me, I just play it slow, scout the area, look at all my surrounding. I have the time. I mean, I'm right here. I have 30 something seconds until it moves the hill. I'm just going to wait here in the bush and see where the hill goes. Just if you're playing this game, you just you got to be looking everywhere. You got to be you just got to be looking everywhere. You you got to have the awareness, I guess you got to say. Can't have tunnel vision in this game if you want to be good. That's why I'm always looking behind me. Like a lot of people don't look back at the shield. Like they they assume like everyone already made it and they're late or something. But just always keep on looking back at the shield. Look at my ammo. Just my ammo count is insane. This is what happens. Like solo, your ammo is good on solo. Compared to squads, it like squads. I'm always running out of ammo. But this, I just always have ammo. Now what I did right there was I switched to brick because you know I'm not on PC. Uh, like I will be on PC soon, like when I get my monitor. But right now I'm not, so I I just hurry and made sure I'm on brick. So when I do get in a fight, and I don't know if it happens this game, but when I get in a fight, I will build around me brick instantly. Like I will have a whole like basically foundation of a fortress built instantly if somebody gets, if someone gets me off guard, I guess. Bushes, overpowered. I, I've won so many games, especially on squads with bushes. And that's when we're, like, this is the strat we do when we're, like, we only have two people left or something. Like, when it, it goes really bad at the beginning and we have no weapons. It's just, when in doubt, hide in a bush. It just works so well. Like, you just sit in a bush, wait for people with weapons in front of you, attack them at the right time, grab the weapons, and there you go. Oh yeah, this reminds me of another thing. You can also obviously change how your inventory is ordered. So you see how I have a sniper, scar, med kit, grenades, and then shotgun? You can order how those are arranged. Didn't know about that at the time too. So I think a good a good lineup would be the scar, the shotgun, probably nades, then sniper, and then the med kit. A lot of this is about having higher ground, obviously. You know, those top hills are really important. Look at this tree wookie. Look at this guy. Look at that. Chilling. Like, I'm already full of med kits. I'm stacked there. That's just crazy. So right now I'm going to get on top of this hill. It's looking like a really good hill. It's right in the middle of this circle. 
a little bit slower in building back then. Like I'm instant now. I just I have the building down. This is this is you're about to see a very awkward fight here. It's it's not really awkward. It's just it's how the game is. Like you can't tell me some of these shots are right on the guy, right there on him. But then when he's moving, running straight towards me, I get him like just fine. Like it, the shots are really weird. That's not one guy could sneak up on me, but here's here's the fight I'm talking about. I'm gonna heal right now. Like I just don't think he can have an angle unless he builds up to me, which I'd hear. I'm gonna nade that. Let me get even higher on the hill. Really looking at these supply drops because, like I said, I, I want an RPG or a gold scar. I don't have them yet. I thought this guy personally was on the other mountain, like where the other med or the supply drop was. Look at that. Do you see that? Like, do you see how cool? Like, I don't know, man. It looks like I'm right on him. It's crazy. I know there's bullet drop and stuff, but it really is inconsistent, I feel like. But I've still gotten pretty good at sniping. That one right there. It had to have hit the crate or something because that's crazy. Just every. They all just look very close to him. I see him running. I get this shot, though. You know, I can't get the others, but I get him when he's running. That's crazy. So right now, I know there's only three others left. Not including me. Now, how I usually play it when there's like four to three people left is what I do is... I know a lot of people do this too, but I wait for just the others to fight themselves, and that's when I'll start pushing. Especially when it's just me and two others, I'll wait for the other two to fight, and then I'll just clean up. Imagine this. Imagine. Taking damage from that was crazy. Like I said, it's usually better to build around you on these, but on solo, that's just not my play style. Because if you build, people know you're there. But if I'm just behind a tree, like I take, the, I, it's a gamble. I take the risk. If I build, people know I'm there. But I'm then I'm, I guess, relatively safer. Or if I just don't build anything and hide behind the tree, I'm just, you know, they won't know I'm there most likely. And I'm just gonna heal there and just hope they didn't see me. Now, I, I hate that semi-automatic, to be honest, but this, especially how do you see I got two of them, like, it's so rare to get two OS's, or potions, and I got two of them, that's just, that's so big, that's so game-changing right there, like, I know the semi-automatic sniper, I, I hate that thing, but the potions, that's huge. So, yet again, you see me switch to brick to be ready for a gunfight. I don't think I've done a lot of jumping here, because right now, like, especially in my Halo gameplay, I, I jump so much now. You should see me on squats how much I jump. I just, I'm constantly jumping because there is a purpose for it. You literally see higher, like, if I were to jump right here, you'd see above the hill a lot easier if you jump. Like, yeah, you make a lot of sound, but it just, you can see the area. That's why you gotta jump. I walk through that bush to see if someone's there. I hear gunfights, so there's two left, and I know I just... I want to see what's going on. 
right at the edge of the hill. I wish that was in there, but it wasn't. So I'm thinking everyone's up here because this is the high ground, you know, it's either this or the river. I'm thinking everyone's up here. Why would he be down there on the river? Like, that's just crazy. Right now, I'm thinking someone's just going to poke up up right here, and I just got to get ready for the fight. That's why I'm just sitting here waiting for the hill to get near me. Someone's going to be watching the hill somewhere up here, but I was wrong. Or I think someone's in a bush, but just didn't see him. There's so many drops I see. But that right there gives it away. Right there I realized, okay, so one guy's right there next to the two drops. And then he's shooting across from the river and the other same guy's over there. So then I know where both of them are and they don't know where I am. Now surprisingly, these nades don't get anyone. Like, that's crazy. Like, these nades, like, I, I just choked with the nades. Usually these nades will get someone. Like, I'm telling you, if you throw them down on a base, they're done. I know where both are, and these guys do not have any kind of fortresses at all. Like, are you are you kidding me? Just a wood, wood little base over there with nothing. He's gonna challenge? Nope, not today, Leroy Jenkins. Not today. And then I just know the second guy's down here. He's hiding under a wooden staircase. Like I, I don't even know what to say. I was gonna shoot it down, fall. I'm just hitting the wall, so pull out the shotgun. Nice little three easy shots on him, and that was the game. Alright, so that game wasn't very intense. It was just more of generally what I do on solo and some tips. But I will be uploading some more intense and just clutch games and endings. Just where we had like no loot and just no one left alive or stuff. And just crazy moments. So I'll definitely make sure to give you guys those crazy games in the future. But I'll see you guys next time.